Um, good evening, and welcome to our performance of Mary Poppins. I um, just have a few things you like to offer before we get the show going. Um, we ask that everyone would please silence their cell phones. And during the show, if anyone needs to leave, which we neglect and try not to leave, but if you do, would you please use the back exit from the gym? And I hope you guys enjoy the show. It's going to be a great one. Well, good 
ridden stand when you don't stumble on your way out. Hey, Shimana, where are you going? Hey, Shimana. Hey, you know, another thorn in his intent. He wonder, driven off the men to buy your children's drinks. Where's my hat? George, 
Mr. and Mrs. Banks live here, yes. Very well then, let's see. Play games also, which I most certainly can. Take us on outings, give us treats. Michael, it's our advertisement. Rosy cheeks and fairly pretty. There's no objection on that score, I hope. Oh, uh, none at all. But oh, take it up with Mrs. Banks. She manages all that side of things. Nothing domestic has anything to do with me. Oh, and... Don't forget the references. I make it a point never to give any references. But I thought it was usual. A very old-fashioned idea in my mind, Mum. The best people never acquire them nowadays. I see. You will have every third Thursday evening off from five until nine. The very best people give every second Wednesday from six till late, Mum. And that is about to be taken. Oh, I see. Well, it's all settled then, as long as I'm satisfied. I'd like to meet the children now. Yes, of course. You'll find them very nice children. Now, this is... Oh, Mary Poppins. Jane, don't stare and close your mouth, Michael. You're not a codfish. Spit spot, best foot forward. Come along, children. Mrs. Prim, we have a new nanny. She passed her interview then. Oh, I did. There's one thing I appreciate. It's a child whose word I can depend on. Now, who's he when he's at home? That's Valentine. He's mom. From the look on his face, I don't think he'd say the same about you. He's just a dog. Can't run away from that. Treat him like that, and he might not want to play with you. Now let's see. Will you please clean up the toys, Jane? And Michael, do some sweeping, will you?
How about you stand over here now? A noisy, mischievous, troublesome little boy. You're making that up. Let me see. A noisy, mischievous. Now you. Thoughtless, short tempered, and untidy. I don't believe you. Let me see.
Why shouldn't he? Well, to start, it's very dirty. But I'll never prove. What's that? You can't come with us. You're too dirty. We don't want to come to the stinky park anyway. Oh, yes, you do. Because when you go to the park with Mary Poppins, you go to places you never dreamed of. And if she says it's a game, she's got something in mind. You can be certain of that. That is a picture of the park, isn't it? That's not the park. It's not our park, anyway. See, the trees are much brighter green. Skies put it in blue. I think you'll find it just the way I've drawn it. All that it takes is a spark. Then something as plain as a pop becomes a wonderland. All you have to do is look on you, and you'll understand why it's a joy for the day of man.
Morning, Mary. Morning, Constable. You do look tip top, if I may say so, Mary. Thank you, Bert, and you may. Each man I treat his dog was tender. Anything can happen if you let it. 
You won't leave us, will you, Mary Poppins? I'll stay to the wind cage. Now come along, from inside. Goodbye, Jenny. Good morning, Michael. Goodbye, Mary. Goodbye, Bert. <laughs> Say All right, tell them you give me the message. George, please. <sighs> oh, Daddy, we've had a fantastic day. We danced with the busker, sang with the statue, and met Queen Victoria. You wouldn't have a clue. If you know that, then why did you do it? Daddy, could I have a kite? A could, you fly, could you fly it? You could always teach me. And when would I have the time to do that? Daddy, who's the father of me? Will you please let me get on? Good night. Poor oh, Michael. All he cares about is flying kites. And his beloved astronomy, of course. I used to love astronomy at his age. But my nanny, Miss Andrew, soon beat it out of me. I suppose we do need a nanny, George. Is it out of the question to do without one? Don't be absurd. Of course we need a nanny. All the best people have nannies. So the wives can do charity work and entertain. Which reminds me, how is your tea party going on? I'm not sure. It seems so odd to send out invitations to people I hardly know. But they're people you should know. Remember, by your friends shall you be judged. But that's the point! They're not my friends! Actually, I heard today from Clemmy Bunting She's rehearsing a new play at the moment, and I thought I might ask her... How many times must I tell you? I wish you to sever all connection with that part of your life. George, I was an actress. Lots of people might find that interesting, though you always talk as if I should be ashamed of it. Well, it's not something to be proud of. Winifred, dearest, I'm only thinking of you. I want people to admire you. To respect you. I know, George, but sometimes it's hard. It's not hard. It's your job to be Mrs. Banks. And what is your job? Oh, well, to pay for everything. What is it? I was only going to kiss you. Oh, all right. <laughs> Are you going to say something to Mary Poppins about this afternoon? I don't think so. Very well. But make sure she's doing things our way and not hers. What's good are rules if you can bend them? 
We need a nanny who is disciplined and stern With boys and girls, you don't befriend them I fear that Mary Poppins has a lot to learn And yet it's one which I don't seem to put at all. I have a comfort I have a simple life. I have a name which tells the world I'm someone else's boy.
stay on before the guests arrive. Everything's done at Kenshi Comma. What about the cake? Pulling under tray, waiting to be iced. And you're quite sure you know how to ice it? Quite sure. And in case you're worried, I've not been exchanged by the fairies for a total nincompoop. No. No? Well, I'll just go up and check the drawing room. I'd like to be helpful. I'd like to be rich. I'd be good lord fun otherwise. Mother wants you in the drawing room. Well, she can't help me. I've been up on my plate as it is. She says you can tell her tonight what to do. Does she indeed? Well, why don't I go have a smoke near the gas box for good measure? Please, Mrs. Frill, I don't mind. All right. I will give you one task and one task only. And so help me. If you get this wrong, I'll swing for you and sing as they pull the lever. What is it, Mrs. Brill? Put the oysting tools next to the cake. I see. And you'll need a bowl of hot water to warm them. Hot water. Now do you think you can manage that? That all? For you, yes. For me, no. Once the cake's done, I have the sandwiches next because Madame wants them fresh. So I can't start them there's no time to finish them. I swear. Slave and ancient Rome wasn't a pleasure cruise compared to my life in this house. But you have to stand there with this knife. Right? No. What are you doing? Looking for a bowl for the water. Michael, why don't we make the icing? Because we don't know how. Give me some feeble. Give me eggs. Miss Brooke can do it. Can't be that hard. Is it supposed to look like this? It doesn't look like that when Mrs. Brill does it. Don't be so impatient and give me the cake. Honestly, Miss Jane, I was only trying to be helpful. You would have. Mrs. Brill, stop and get ready now. Let's not wait till then. Why don't you go upstairs and get changed? And we'll clean up, won't we, children? But we're not ill. We won't take it. You can't make it. And that, as in so many things, your information is faulty. Now open. But it's strawberry ice. Now you? I'm not sure I like strawberry ice. I'm not sure I care. <laughs> open. I'm cordial. Now, Michael, I know you like to keep things neat. And Jane, why don't you pick up the eggs? I told you she was drinking. Robert's Must we? Can't Robert Snyder when he wakes up? He is a servant. With that attitude, you'll get through a lot of stuff before you're very old. Besides, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. Mm. You find the fun. Jobs again, and every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake. A darker spring, it's very clear to see that I strong from the
Rum punch, my favorite. Now you, Robertson. Oh, 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 oh. oh my puppets! You're a miracle worker. How did you get them to do it? Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Go down. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. So, just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Go down.
see here back muscles coming in again today. Have you made your decision? I believe so, sir. Good, good. You sure it's the right one? Here, Banks. What objections can you have? My security is more than adequate in Latin America's expanding market. What is the matter? Have you no courage? But Mr. Von Hustler, what I haven't been able to grasp is what exactly is your final product. What do you think? Money, of course. Yes, money. But I wonder, making money out of money, is that enough? Are you man enough to be a banker? A man has Town of good people whose future depends on it. I know that. Just give us this chance, you won't regret it. The factory could be running in weeks and expanding before the year's out. Please, Mr. Banks, I give it everything I've got. Believe me. I do believe you, Mr. Northbrook. And I've tried to find a way, but there just is not the collateral. What about my workforce? Decent men who want a better life. They're my collateral. My men have dreams to earn an honest living. A wife and kids, a home to call their own. If you invest in us today, it paves the way. I promise we repay the blow. I'm sorry, Mr. Northbrook, but I... <laughs> what on earth are you doing here? Can't you see that I'm busy? No, we're done. And no man should be too busy for his own children. What do you come here for, young man? Have you come for some money as well? Hardly. What would they need money for? Well, it's never too early to learn its value. I know the value of this. Sixpence. No, that's its worth. Its value is how you spend it. Now do good and may you have good luck. And what do you say to Mr. Northbrook? Thank you. I'll wait outside. What is the meaning of this? Really, Mary Poppins, I am not without a sense of humor. Aren't you, Daddy? No. But when I was little, I would never have dared interrupt my father. Were you ever a little boy? Of course. But my nanny, Miss Andrew, kept me out of my father's way, and he would have been very annoyed if she had. What about your mother? I shouldn't think I saw either of them more than once a week. Didn't they mind? Mind? They were glad to be rid of me. Then who kissed you goodnight? Miss Andrew? Certainly not. There's no time for hugs and kisses and all that soppy nonsense. What's the matter? Poor Daddy. What do you mean, poor? That's what made me the man I am. Mary Poppins? Yes, I'm afraid it did. Good. You've seen where I work and have a great deal to do. Come on, Jonathan. When you invest the bank's money, Daddy, what are you looking for? A good man or a good idea? I suppose I should say it's a good idea. But a good man is much rarer and much more valuable. Mr. Von Hustler, I've considered your arguments, and I'm afraid my answer is no. So you don't recognize a good idea? Perhaps not, but I recognize a good man when I see one. Dear Banks, you regret this. A man with dreams that life hasn't broken A man with hopes, ambitions to fulfill A man you're certain at first glance Deserves a chance Now, Mr. Northbrook, when exactly could the factory open? Thank you, Mr. Banks. You won't regret it.
Save your suspects. Georgie Banks? 
Your father? He used to give his nanny the slip and come into my shop here in secret. But it can't have been the same, George Banks. That would have been 40 years ago. No one can remember, no one can remember back that far. Listen, dearie. I remember everything. I remember Georgia used to love my gingerbread. What have we got any left today? Annie, Fanny, and Daddy, look lively. Yes, mother. There you are. Gingerbread pieces with gingerbread stars. Uh uh. -huh. George, you always saved his stars. Now, Mary Poppins, what can I do for you? I was hoping for an ounce of conversations. I'm afraid I'm out of conversations, and I'm right out of words, too. You see, I've had a lot of chatterboxes in here today. Let me see what we got left. <laughs> oh, I do have some letters and a little bit of back chat. An ounce, you say? Oh, that will be 15 letters. Go on, take your pick. Jane, you choose seven. I got a D, G, I, U, C, S, and I. They're no good. Can't make a composition out of them. Michael, seven more. C, I've got an A. S E T O N P. And I'll choose an X. <gasps> now let's see what words we can make. I see dog and cat. Braille chocolates. That's nine. Uh, Lectififerous. That's eleven. Those don't count. You just make them up. And where do you think words came from in the first place? Somebody has to make them. Now let me see. Now I've used some letters more than once. Super. Caliph. Rajuristic. XP. <gasps> That's not a word. Of course it's a word. And unless I am very much mistaken, to prove that is. <laughs>
Good night, I can't call the She made me tricky, but she's bloody good. <laughs>
Right, now stand back. No one is to go near the space, or no one else but me neither. This is an hour. Oh. And while I do this, stay totally immobile. Immobile. Do not move a muscle. Muscle. <laughs> do not breathe. Do you hear me? I might as well be dead. Don't give me any ideas. <laughs> Seems he went to our chief rivals, they gave him the money, and now it's turned into a gold mine. Well, they can't expect you to get it right every time. That's exactly what they expect. Oh, super cat and badger, this they get the attention. Even though the sound of it is something quite a church, if you say it loud enough. Hey, loud enough. But we were just. I don't care what you were just. Upstairs now. Must I put up with this behavior? You're their mother, why can't you do something? Well, I could try not shouting for a start. Mary Poppins, you are here to teach the children manners, and they're a pair of little savages. If I had it my way, you'd be out of this house by... Right? You're tired. Don't bring the children downstairs tonight, Mr. Banks. Mr. Banks is quite exhausted. Perhaps you could keep them occupied? I hope you haven't forgotten about them, but tonight is my night out. What? Oh dear, I had forgotten. I suppose the best people wouldn't ask you to change your plans. No, Mum, they wouldn't. I thought not. That's not fair. Daddy loses his temper, and we can shut up in the nursery. He's mean and wrong in that hey, Jane, hey, take that back with instant. I will not have you criticize your father. But he criticizes you. Last week he said you were neither. You did not want it. How dare you! You heard him say it. So did I. Sometimes people say things they do as me. Take the children upstairs, please, Mary. George. What is it now? I thought you might have to talk about it. What would be the point? Perhaps I could help. Don't be ridiculous. I'm serious, George. You had troubles. I'd like to share them. Oh, don't worry. You will. The fact is I've been suspended without pay until further notice. Why does Daddy get so cross? 
Father just was to look after the children, not yet at them all the time. And who do you think takes care of the fathers when things go wrong? Mothers, I suppose. Not the children? Wouldn't that rather be upside down? Families are upside down, or can be for a little while anyway. I don't want to be an upside down family. We should just run with Why don't you? Somebody might adopt you. But you miss me. No, I wouldn't. I'd have all your toys. No, you couldn't. Oh, yes, I could. Jolly well, what? Well, Stop it. There's no way to treat each other. Off to bed. Would you just leave us alone? Be careful of what you wish for, my thanks. Is that you, Bert?
a nice free time. As toy as I can make it, Mom. You knew how hard it was to track for dad. Really, Mom. Fun for dad. Children read 
Well, I uh, shake hands with yourself. Now, what have we got here? Michael, look, it's a proper cut. What's wrong? I've always wanted to fly. I've always wanted to fly when I'm steady. Oh, of course you have. But first, you need to know how it's done. Get some training, and you'll make him the proudest father in the country. Do you really think so? You're not just saying that. Did I say country? The whole Roman Empire more like. With top and for paper and strings, you can have your own set of wings. George, 
I know it hurts your pride. I can't forget. In fact, 
If I had six pence, I would have given you one. George, you have noticed. Mary Poppins is back. Well, well, Mary Poppins. I wonder if I might have a word. <clears throat> well, there's no point in beating about the bush. Things have not gone well for us since you left us, and... Mr. Banks, about my villages. I won't take any just now. I would prefer to let them accrue. But Mary, if you knew how many pains are already accruing as is. Is everything settled? It is. Come along, children, upstairs. Dismissed by the bank. We'll be destitute. The servants will leave, the house will be repossessed, and we'll be outside with the children on the frosty curbs. But we'll still have a rain, Artemis. The children are each other. Russia, wait a certain time. 
We may.
What is this? What is all this? Mary Poppins, would you care to explain? I would like to make one thing perfectly clear, though. Yes? I never explain myself. at the close of business tonight. Tonight? Well, I'm going to come with you. Jolly well, you know, chatter is my mind. No, that will only make matters worse. We might as well face it. In just a few short hours, I will have joined the ranks of the un unemployed. Oh, George, are you quite sure? Quite sure. In fact, we better make plans. You mean your mother's boss? Won't you miss it terribly? Needs must, my dear. We always said we were saving it for a rainy day, and tomorrow it looks set to cool. George, to be careful with that. The cup is dashed from his lips, the flame is snuffed the warning, 
is brought to rack and ruin in his prime. Lies the rum gun, governor, and that's the truth. You know what I think? It's Mary Poppins. From the moment she stepped into this house, things began to happen to her. My world was calm, well ordered, exemplary. Then came this person with chaos in her way. And now my life's ambitions go with one fell blow. It's quite a bitter pill to take. It's that Poppins woman. She's responsible for all this. I know the very person. What's that song she's always singing? Just a spoonful of sugar. That is all it takes. It changes bread and water into tea and cakes. A spoonful of sugar. father of Neelius was? Yes. It was Poseidon, king of the sea.
hurts her, only tuppence bad. Mm. Actually, I would take it as a kind favor to fat them for. She had a scheme that was bound to make millions. He wants to know why. But I'll tell you. I refused Mr. Von Hustler's scheme because it was hollow. It had no product, no substance, and no meaning outside the walls of a bank. Oh yes, he told me about the assets and profit and growth, but not a word about people. Now, I know that if any man values life, then as far as you're concerned, he's a washout. But I'm afraid I do value it. In short, George Banks, Esquire, has rediscovered the human race. I apologize for ruining the bank, but I do not apologize for understanding that there is more to life than making money. Ruining the bank? Ruining the bank? Ruining the bank? My dear chap, you saved our bacon. You've kept us out of the nastiest scandals since breakfast began. Haven't you heard? Ben Tussler's scheme has ruined our rivals. You should have saved the bank. Oh, my word. And another thing. Do you remember a fellow called Northbrook? Well, he's a paying loan you gave him, and opened up two new factories. With the percentages you negotiated, we looked set to make a fortune. Oh, my word. Well, that's just it. We very much hope you tell us quite how you did it. Just give us the word. Give me the word? I'll give you the word, all right. Super, caliph, fragilistic, expiatidocious. You know this sound of it is something quite George, let's meet a record tennis. We want to offer you a job as senior manager with a salary at double. Exactly. How much has he made for you? Triple. <coughs> Quadruple the current salary. Close your mouth, George. We are not a codfish. <laughs> well, I accept. But you must understand one thing. From now on, my family comes first. Agreed.